Canada's Prime Minister is among those who have called for humanitarian pauses in the fighting, and it now looks like the U.S., Israel's most important ally, is going to do the same. For the first time, President Joe Biden voiced support for the idea on Wednesday. His Secretary of State will be in Israel tomorrow. Our Washington Bureau Chief Jackson Prosco is with me. Jackson, what are we expecting his message to Israel will be? Hi, Donna. In the view of the U.S., a pause would allow hostages and foreign nationals out of Gaza and humanitarian aid in. The White House says it's pushing the Israeli government for as many pauses as necessary to accomplish those goals. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is tonight en route to Israel, where he's expected to press Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu directly. Notable here is the language. The U.S. is increasingly direct in demanding that civilians be protected. The Americans believe they can extract concessions from Netanyahu because of the solidarity they've shown with Israel so far. We've seen in recent days Palestinian civilians continue to bear the brunt of this, uh, this action. Uh, and it's important that the United States is committed to making sure everything possible is done to protect civilians. The U.S. says it also wants discussions to focus on what happens after the current conflict. The Americans view a two-state solution as the only way forward in the long term. The timing is delicate. The leader of Hezbollah, Hamas's ally in Lebanon, is expected to address the conflict for the first time during a speech on Friday. No doubt it will be watched closely by the Americans for hints about whether a wider regional war is in the making. Donna? All right, Jackson Prosco in Washington, thanks.